Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on here and do a video to discuss what a soul reading actually is. It's a service that I've been providing for a very long time and many people use that as a label for the service, but I don't think that a lot of people quite understand what it actually is and what you're getting when you get a soul reading with Savon, with me. Um, I also wanna talk about being careful when you choose a reader, how to choose a great reader, but also not getting caught up in the hoopla of, you know, all these new readers that are popping up all over the place on TikTok, on Instagram. I call them microwave readers. A lot of times, young kids, people in general, but I noticed this in mostly young kids that are in their 20s, early 20s, will get a deck of cards, they'll get really good at it, they'll realize that they're intuitive, and now they're opening up and doing paid readings. There's a lot of other people that feel like they don't need classes, they've never taken any classes, but they know that they've always had a gift, and now they're opening up shop and they're doing readings also. And so what I wanna do is I wanna approach this from a practical standpoint so you can understand the different levels in which you can do a reading, and those different levels depend upon how much experience the actual reader has, how much they've actually done their own inner work to be able to go to the deepest, most truthful level possible when they're giving a reading and giving the information, all right? And so, a soul reading, what is a soul reading? Well, let's start off with what a psychic reading is. A psychic reading, it means the psyche, it means that I'm connecting to your energy and I'm relaying back to you what I'm picking up on in your psyche, so I may feel that you're frustrated. I may feel that you are sad, that you deal with anxiety. I'm reading your energy, your aura, right? And so I may talk about that there's issues in a relationship, or I feel that you're angry, or I feel that there's some forgiveness that needs to happen because I'm sensing a heaviness in your heart. This would be a psychic reading. This would be like at the first level, right? When we're talking about a soul reading, a soul reading goes much deeper than what's happening within your own energetic field. Because when you get a reading, oftentimes with a reader that's not necessarily experienced, and they're just starting out, they're just starting to tap into their gifts, even when you get a tarot reading, they're just reading the energy that's in the aura. They're reading your energy, any other energies that are also in your aura, and they're relaying that back to you either through the cards or through their own messaging, what they are becoming aware of. And that might be the extent of how far the reading actually goes for you. And oftentimes people will leave feeling like, oh my God, this person picked up on everything, but they didn't read you at the level of the soul. They just read you at the level of your aura. And oftentimes when you get those kinds of readings, you might get information, but because you didn't deal with the root issues, the root causes which are found within the soul, the emotions of the soul, you'll recreate that experience over and over again and you'll find yourself constantly going back to readers to get information, to try to figure out what to do, to figure out how to get back on track because things are off track. And that's because, as I said, they're only reading at that top layer, that top level, okay? So psychic reading, tarot reading, oracle cards, aura reading. Now, when we're talking about a soul reading, we are going to the core of who you are. And when we go to the core of who you are, we're not saying things like, I know you're angry, I know you're frustrated, I know you're dealing with depression. We're looking at where is the soul interrupted? What has interrupted the soul? What are the wounds that are there that either stem from childhood or stem from another lifetime? What's not allowing the soul to express itself? So instead of me, if I was doing the reading, I would not say, I know that you're frustrated, what's going on in your life? I would say, I understand that there is frustration because you are not able to find fulfillment and satisfaction in your job, in your, um, your relationship. 
And when I tap into the soul, what I'm seeing is the soul wants to move into this direction. The soul wants to experience this. This is what your soul is wanting and that's what's causing the frustration. And then I would go further into where I feel the soul is wanting to go based on the information that I'm getting from your guides, from your loved ones, from your helpers, from my guides and loved ones, but it's a deeper reading. We also look at the history, what went on in your adolescence. All of that is in your soul's memories, the soul's emotions. So you might have certain issues, certain characteristics within your personality that disempower you, but you, you may think that that's how you've always been and you may not realize on a deeper level there's a wound there that is revealed by tapping into the soul to help you let that go. So maybe you can feel much more at ease in your body. So you can be much more surrendering rather than dominating and controlling. So when you get a soul reading, it's deeper information to support you in lining up with what's true for you, what's real for you, and what's going to allow your soul to grow and move you into that soul expression, which is what is going to bring fulfillment. Fulfillment is when the soul is satisfied, not when the ego or the mind is satisfied. And that is why you can be in a relationship with someone, for example, that you are attracted to, you thought everything was good at first, and then you realize there's no soul connection. Your soul knows that that's not who it wants to be with. And what most people don't realize, and there's a learning curve here because none of us are taught this, is you want to line up with what your soul wants for you rather than this is what I know that I want. I want a job that pays me this much money that does this. This is the car that I want. This is the partner that I want. Rather than learning to tune into the soul and allowing the soul to lead you to where it wants to be. So for example, if you are soul led instead, rather than being led by the mind or the ego, if your soul led to a particular job, that job is going to fulfill you. You being there won't feel like work, it'll feel like play because it's something that satisfies you on such a deep level. And out of that, other opportunities may come. You'll glow, you'll shine because all those qualities contained within the soul will rise to the surface and express themselves so opportunities will come to you. Maybe you'll be promoted, you'll be given raises, you'll be given other opportunities within that job or that company because it's something that lines up with your soul, it satisfies you, it allows you to blossom. And it's the same thing with a relationship and anything else. The problem is people are being misled because they're told you can attract anything. Just manifest whatever you want, you can visualize it. And on top of that, there's a lot of people that do magic, that do a lot of indigenous practices, and they're telling people you can do spells, you can do love spells, you can make this person love you, you can make this person want you. So there's a lot of unethical behavior and practices as it relates to a lot of the stuff that's going on. And so I just want to give you some information and let you process it and you take what feels right to you and dump the rest, right? Because this is just what's true for me and I don't have a cornerstone on truth at all because it's all consciousness and it's all spirit. But really it's about finding what feels right to you that allows you to move forward in a empowered, ethical way that allows you to remain at integrity with yourself, true to yourself, and true to everybody else. All right, and so getting a soul reading is important because if you get a reading with um, someone that's doing tarot, for example, and you want to know, is this the person I'm supposed to be with? And the tarot cards say, yeah, everything's good. You get the love card, you get the marriage card, because right now the energy between you is working, but the cards will not reveal to you that on a soul level, your soul is actually on a different path than this person's soul. And six months down the line, there's going to be a split and things are gonna to start to happen in that relationship to move you apart because you're both attached to each other. And that's why a lot of times you get a reading and it's like, well, the reading didn't turn out and then you go back and you're paying more money over and over again rather than where does my soul need to be, want to be? 
Where is my particular soul's path leading me? What's my soul's journey? And so working with practitioners that specialize in working at the level of the soul will not only assist you in that, but it'll give you the information that you need to make the best choices for yourself. Getting a soul reading will also help you to understand why you created that relationship in the first place, what the lessons are that are there, what the lessons are in those jobs that you've had that haven't quite worked out, what the soul lessons are for the struggles that you're currently experiencing and the emotional ups and downs. All of these things can come out of a soul reading. None of these things can come out of a tarot reading because the tarot or oracle cards are about the energy that's working in your present, the energy in your aura, the energy in your psyche, in your mind. We're not working at the level of the soul. And so I always tell people, you know, when you're ready, you'll know. But because a soul reading also is going to allow you to take a clear look at who you really are, but how you're not really being true to yourself and what's getting in the way of that. So it's almost like revisiting those painful parts of your past or shadow work, as I say. And that's also a big part of doing soul readings with me and soul healing work is working through your shadow. Again, people are misled because they're taught you can manifest what you want, focus on the positive, but that spiritual bypassing, those energies, those interruptions, those scars are still there and it's still affecting how you attract things, how you make your choices, what you're thinking. You know, it's your internal filter. And when your internal filter isn't clear and no one is speaking to that, you don't know where your blind spots are. So a soul reading will support you in understanding where your blind spots are and how to mitigate these patterns, these unconscious patterns. A soul reading will also help you to understand unconscious beliefs that you may not realize you have that you've either inherited or developed in some way. None of these things can come out of a psychic reading or a tarot reading because you need to go much deeper at the level of the soul. And when you're working at the level of the soul, you're also working from the higher source self. So it's not me, I'm in tune with my light. I'm in tune with source. And through source, tuning into your soul, my soul to your soul in the light of source, to bring healing, to bring the information, to bring the awareness, to bring you back into your light, back into yourself back home to you and when you're back home within yourself and you're clear on the direction of where you're going what your soul needs and wants and having a practice a spiritual practice that supports your soul connection then you no longer need to keep going to get readings you no longer need to keep paying for money for psychics to tell you things because now you're empowered to do it yourself through your own soul awareness. And I tell my clients, I do not want to work with you after they get a reading for at least nine months to a year. I want you to take a year and integrate the information, apply the information, apply the tools that were given in the reading and integrate that and live life. If there's an emergency, come back, no emergency, no life or death situation, I want you to use your soul awareness and grow. And then when you come back, it's almost like a check-in. I wanna check in, I wanna see where I am on my journey. I wanna see where have I grown, things that I've missed, things that I need to look at, things that I can continue to work on. That's how you wanna use a reading. You wanna use it as a tool of growth and empowerment, all right? Now, this is just what's true for me, so I wanna be careful because I'm sure a lot of people are gonna watch this and get triggered. Everyone is on their journey and everyone reads how they read. I wanna give you a little bit of background on myself. I'm 45 years old. My very first reading I did when I was around 20, 21. I've been doing readings ever since, but I've been taking classes nonstop at least once to twice to three times a year. I've been in many mentorships. I've studied at the Arthur Finley College overseas. I've made this my life's work to master my gifts, master my awareness, but also 
heal my own trauma, go into super heavy, dark, painful places within my own being to bring light there so I can understand myself more, but so I could release that and allow more of who I am to rise, more of my own soul being to rise, which has enhanced my awareness and my gifts. So it's why I can go to really dark, heavy places with my clients and hold space for them and bring light into areas of their heart, corners of their mind that have been long forgotten. And I can support them. And so I'm very clear on what my purpose is, is to help bring people back home into themselves and see those things that are not who they are, become aware of that, feeling those old emotions and helping them move through that. That's why I do what I do. I've gone to therapy, I've done a lot of trauma work, I've done ayahuasca. And so as I've said, you wanna work with someone that knows how to get to the shit, okay? I wanna be clear with you and direct. You don't want someone that's like, okay, I'm reading this relationship and you know this is what's going on with your partner and this is what he thinks, but this is what you guys need to do. You want someone that's gonna say this to you. You pick this partner because you have unresolved issues with your father. I'm using this as an example. And because you have abandonment issues, you have a deep desire and need to be needed and rescued, which is where you find your safety, your value, and your worth. So you unconsciously picked a partner that needed you to rescue them, to fix them, to be the parent in the relationship. And this relationship is not a relationship that aligns with your soul and where your soul is wanting to go. You want someone that's going to give you clear information. And again, the person has to be ready, but if they're ready, if they're ready, it'll be beautiful and empowering and amazing because then they can begin to tune into and understand what their soul wants for them, which is what they really want. They want that sense of connection of power. They want to be seen, they want to be visible, but they want to feel purposeful. And the only way to do that is to tap back into and tune into the soul and understanding the needs of the soul, which takes me to the next point I want to make. And I'm going to be going back and forth between, you know, these TikTok tarot readers and, and, and getting a soul reading and, and how I work. I take a very shamanistic view when I sit with someone. Even though they're telling me this is what they're here for, I understand that they may not fully be aware of what their soul needs are. So when I'm working with someone, I'm looking at what are the needs of the soul, the underlying needs of the soul, how are those needs not being met and how is that affecting their physical life? And so when you take that approach, the information is much more profound, there's more context to the information and it's extremely healing when you start to hear information that resonates with you on a soul level. I've seen people tell me that they could feel as I'm talking energies and heaviness just ripping away, being dissolving away, lifting off of their shoulders, telling me that they've had these epiphanies and these are things that they've needed to hear and it's changed their life. And I record all of my readings. And I'm not trying to sell you all my readings, but I'm letting you know how I work and how a lot of people that I know, practitioners, work in a way that's going to empower you. Now, when you're getting a tarot reading or an oracle card reading, it's not always going to address the needs of your soul. And yes, I do oracle card videos, but if you watch my oracle card videos and you can click on the playlist below, watch them, pick a number, see if there's a message for you. If you notice when I do my oracle card videos, I'm giving a lot of detailed information because I'm tapping into a deeper space within myself and I'm allowing spirit to give me information in a way that's going to relay to each and every one of you that watch those videos on a deeper soul level. Now, I can't get into that much information because I need to focus on one person. This is a video for everybody. But that's how I get that information, okay? 
And so you wanna be careful, you wanna use discernment, you wanna do research, you wanna take your time. You don't wanna go for the person that's the cheapest. You wanna feel into it. Cheap doesn't always mean better. Expensive doesn't eat either. But remember, this is an investment in your life and your well-being, okay? The other thing, the last thing I wanna say is as you continue on your journey, because I don't know who's watching this and where you are on your journey, begin to contemplate, I wonder what my soul wants from me. I wonder what my soul knows about what it is that I want. I wonder what version of this thing, this vision my soul has for me versus what I have. And as you begin to contemplate that in meditation, begin to call your soul forth to guide you to give you vision, to show you where you need to be, to assist you in creating the relationships that you want, to even assist you in any area of your life where you're having problems because it's all there. That's why they say everything is within you because it's all within the soul. Your soul is a facet or an aspect of the creator of the all living within you as you. So when you get a soul reading or you go to a medium, it's because you're interrupted in some way and that relationship and connection has been severed. And so you are not clear, but getting a soul reading is supposed to assist you in being clear. So the channels are clear, so that connection is clear, so then you can trust yourself and rock out, all right? So I feel like I've gone into this enough and I've beaten the dead horse over and over and over again. Be careful. I'm not saying not to get tarot readings, not to get any other kind of reading, but keep in mind the person that's giving you the information, their own filter, how you feel when you're getting the information. If, if it's really giving you the juice that you need to move forward, it's one thing to say, I feel like a move is coming, I feel like you need to move, and then moving on. It's another thing to say, you're, you are in transition and you are growing and this is where your soul is taking you and this is where your soul is going in terms of your purpose and that purpose is sparking a transformation, a change and a physical move and your soul is showing me that you're wanting to go west, you're wanting to be near the ocean, you're wanting to be in high vibrational spaces and in a space where you can have like-minded community two different ways of delivering information. One is general and basic. It gives you just enough. You'd have to keep coming back for more. The other one feeds you. A soul reading will feed you. And that's what I try to do with all of my clients. So if any of my clients is watching, leave a comment, let me know. Um, but I try to feed my clients and I try to feed them in a way where they don't need to come back until it's time. Because I'm not interested in the money. I'm interested in making a difference for people and having a lasting impact, having a lasting impact. And that's what a soul reading will give you. It's giving you back you again. All right. I love you guys. I love what I do. I really appreciate your support. Do me a favor, thumbs up the video, leave me a comment. Let me know if any of this makes sense, if it resonates with you. And if you're interested in getting a soul reading, Check out my website, look it over, look at the reviews that have been left on my Facebook business page and sit with it. Sit with it. Sit with your soul and see if you are led to work with me or if it leads you down another journey to find someone else that's much more aligned. But either way, I want you to tune into your soul. The last thing I want to say is if I've given you a reading and you benefited from it in any way, a reading or a healing or any of my services, especially in the past, I would love for you to leave a review on my Facebook business page. I have so many reviews on there and I direct people to that page so they can see real people leaving comments. There's no way to make up the reviews. These are real Facebook profiles. These are real people that have left honest reviews of what their experience was. I would love for you to share that. That's how I'm able to help people. I don't advertise. Of course, I post testimonials here and there, but it's mostly word of mouth and it's people that watch these videos, which I'm grateful for, and people that also read those reviews. All right, y'all, I love you. I love you so much and I'm so grateful that I've been on this channel 
over 10 years and I'm still going. Some of you have been with me since the beginning and you are still with me and I appreciate it. I love you. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Bye.